Welcome dear students. In this video, we are going to discuss about the topic basic concepts of permutations and combinations. Let us discuss in detail exercise 5a question number 1 to 15. The first question is 4p3 is evaluated as so we have to decrease 4 3 times that is 4 into 3 into 2 which is 24. Option C is the answer. Second question is 4P4 4 is equal to. So again we have to decrease 4 4 times which is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 which is equal to 24. Option B is the answer. Third question is, 7 factorial is equal to, what is 7 factorial? 7 factorial is 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. We have to reduce it till 1, which is 5014. Option A is the answer. In the fourth question, we have, 0 factorial is a symbol equal to, the answer is 1. Option B is the answer. Fifth question. In N, P, R, N is always. So, the answer is N is always a positive integer. Option C is the answer. In the next question, we have in NPR, the restriction is. So, what is the restriction? In NPR. So, the option is B. N should be always greater than or equal to R. The next question is, in NPR, is equal to n into n minus 1 into n minus 2, etc. n minus r plus 1, the number of factors is. We know that in NPR we have to reduce n r times which means the number of factors will be r. So the correct option is D. The next problem NPR can also be written as which is n factorial by n minus r factorial. Factorial can be represented like this or otherwise like this. Ninth question we have, if n p 4 is equal to 12 times n p 2, the n is equal to we can write this as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 into n minus 3 is equal to 12 into n into n minus 1. Cancelling the common terms on both sides, we get n squared minus 2n minus 3n plus 6 is equal to 12. Let us simplify the equation. We get n squared minus 5n minus 6 is equal to 0. Splitting into factors, we get n minus 6 and n plus 1 is equal to 0. We get n is equal to 6 and n is equal to minus 1. 
we should not consider n as equal to minus 1 because n cannot be negative. So, the option is n is equal to 6 which is B. Tenth question is if n p 3 is to n p 2 is equal to 3 is to 1 n p 3 can be written as n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 divided by ratio can also be written as fractions so n p 2 is n into n minus 1 cancelling the common terms we get n minus 2 is equal to 3 which implies n is equal to 5 the correct option is C. 11th question we have m plus n p2 is equal to 56 m minus n p2 is equal to 30. Then we are asked to find the values of m and n. Let us use trial and error method to solve this problem. In option A we have m is equal to 6 and n is equal to 2. Let us consider the two conditions. When we substitute the values in the first condition we get 8p2 which is 8 into 7 so 56 is correct. When we consider the second condition, we get 4p2 which is 4 into 3 which is 12 but we are given it is equal to 30 so it is a wrong option. Let us consider the second option m is equal to 7 and n is equal to 1. We get 8p2 again which is 8 into 7 and when we substitute in the second condition, we get 6p2. So, 6 into 5 is equal to 30. Both the conditions are satisfied by this option. So, the correct option is B. 12th question, we have 5PR is equal to 60. Then the value of R is, let us factorize 60. We get the factors as 5 into 4 into 3. which can also be written as 5p3. So, the value of r here is 3. The option is A. 13th question we have if n1 plus n2 p2 is equal to 132, n1 minus n2 p2 is equal to 30, then values of n1 and n2 are asked to be found. This question is similar to the 11th problem. So let us use trial and error method. The first option is n1 is equal to 6 and n2 is equal to 6. Substituting in the first condition we get 132. But while substituting in the second condition we get 0p2. Therefore this is a wrong option. Let us try out the second option n1 is equal to 10 and n2 is equal to 2. The first condition is satisfied but the second condition we get 8p2 which is 8 into 7. This is not equal to 30. So let us consider the third option c n1 is equal to 9 and n2 is equal to 3. We get 12p2 for the first condition which is 12 into 11. So it is equal to 132. The second condition is 6p2 which is 6 into 5. So we get 30 here. Both the conditions are satisfied. So this is the correct option. Option C is the answer. Fourteenth question is the number of ways the letter of the word computer can be rearranged is. So let us first find out the number of distinct letters in the word computer. We have 8 distinct letters. 
So this is a linear permutation. We know that it's n factorial for linear permutation. So here it is 8 factorial. But we have to subtract 1 because we should not consider computer as an arrangement. Because the question is the number of ways the letters of the word computer can be rearranged. So it has to be rearranged. We should not consider the arrangement computer. So the option is 40319. Option B is the answer. Fifteenth question is the number of arrangements of the letter in the word failure so that the vowels are always coming together is. The number of vowels here is A, I, U and E which is 4. The consonants are F, F, L and R. We are said that the vowels are always coming together which can be considered as a single set and F, L and R as a separate sets. So we can arrange them in four factorial ways and vowels within themselves can be arranged in four factorial ways. So four factorial into four factorial which is equal to 576 which is option A. Hope this video was informative. It is also available in Tamil for the convenience of the students. Thanks for watching.